Okay. Welcome to the Monday, April the 1st, 2024 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I'll let staff and members introduce themselves. Member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Steve Everett, member. Martha Smirsky, member. We have anybody Oop. else? Eric, you have to unmute yourself. Eric Gilbertson, member. William Russell, member. That's it. Okay. I'll let Meredith review the remote meeting procedures and process. Okay. So for those of you that have done this before, you know the drill. Um, Howard, so this is going to be mostly for you and then for anybody who's watching via Orca Media. And just to make sure that the link shows through. I'm going to ask a favor, Andrew. Can you use your mouse to minimize the Zoom screen on there? To the little, the little single bar? The uh, little square up top on that rectangle? Nope. The one that has the images of people. Oh, okay. Yep, and select over on the left-hand side. Select not that one, but the that one. And then lift it up a little bit so people can remotely can see the link. Thank you very much. Yep. Um, so... For anyone viewing tonight's Design Review Committee meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's discussion via the Zoom platform through either video or telephone <coughs> access options. Um, if you want to use the full video experience, you can type this link into your web browser and it should bring you right into the meeting. Um, alternatively, uh, you can call into the meeting using this phone number and when prompted, put in this meeting ID and I will get a notice to bring you into the meeting. Um, if you have any problems accessing the meeting, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. I will be monitoring my email throughout tonight's meeting. Um, for those attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, and for everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will help reduce background noise. Um, and note that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, anything substantive about an item on the agenda should be um, shared verbally. Um, and if you haven't already been called on, you can just raise your hand either physically or by using the raise hand button on your toolbar um, and then wait for the chair to call on you. Um, if in the event the public is unable to access tonight's meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. If everybody's had a chance to look at the agenda, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. Yeah. All in favor of the agenda, speak your names. Eric. Martha. William. Steve. The agenda is approved. We can move forward to the first applicant, Andrew LaRosa for Montpelier High School. Describe your project. I'm gonna I'm, swing the mic over. I'm gonna turn that over to Howard because he's our representative on this project. Oh, okay. Great. Um, my name is Howard Killian. I'm with Green Print Partners. Um, we have been, just to give a quick background, we have been um, hired have a contract with the Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation to manage the um, three acre rule implementation for about 65 schools um, in um, along with Lake Champlain Sea Grant um, to help them meet the three acre rule. So uh, the high school is one of the projects that we are moving forward um, this year. And so what we have in front of you is that there's a, a variety of things we're doing We've, um, again, a project management, we've hired a local engineer to design the project with the school's input. And then uh, once we have all the permits in place, we will be bidding the project out to the public to have it constructed. So the, the project um, has a, a several disconnection areas throughout the site along the paths and around the track and some of the parking lots. Um, but the main part of the um, improvement, if you look on the plans, there is a, um, we're at the south end of the parking lots, kind of the southwest corner. We are installing in one of the islands, kind of a four bay. Um, and what that is, is a lot of the stormwater from the parking lots gets directed into that. 
which will allow the uh, more of your pollutants, any debris, any um, debris that might be in the parking lot to be collected in that. And then it'll run through a pipe um, to off of the parking lot between the existing parking lot and the tree line. Um, right now there's an existing small swale there and we are proposing to put in a bioretention area. And what that'll do is the water will flow into that. It'll have a gravel bottom, but also different sorts of wetland plants. And the idea is the water will stay there um, for you know up to a day or so and filter into the ground, filter out the pollutants until it then slowly releases back into the, the public um, swale system. And that's designed that's I just on, on your plans that you have one area where you anticipate changing a gravel parking area to a paved parking area i was not able to understand which where that was in terms of the school itself let me find that real quick there are there are two small areas um in the one corner that there's they're minor areas andrew do you know offhand which one that is i'm, I'm looking it up on the yeah plan right now. Basically, if you're standing facing the tennis courts but with your back to the front door of the school, if that helps okay. you at all. Yeah. Over in the, um, well, I guess it, all right, let's do it properly. So northwest corner, there was an area of the parking lot that had been covered with a uh, stay mat and has sort of worked its way into becoming a parking spot. So that's just, we're going to take the stay mat dirt that's been parked on for many years and actually paved that and then on the south side of the parking lot there's just a little odd wedge of grass that has been driven on that that's going to be removed so it's basically the equivalent of two or three parking lots parking spots that currently are being used but are just dirt so they're just going to we're going to pave it so we can control it if i was standing on bailey avenue looking at the school would one mm -hmm. of those areas be to my left uh well yes but way down by the tennis courts Okay. And the other areas would be to my okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Are these photos included actually of my Pelier school? No. No, no that's a that's a, a typical. It's really if you if you can th if envision the swale that we have now, we're enlarging it. Okay. And 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 formalizing it and adding some plantings around it and um it's really it's really a matter of enlarging what we have. So I had asked for some photos so you have at least a sense of yeah. what the planting area might look like because landscaping is one of DRC's jurisdictional yeah. things here, even for a school. So the area that holds water is able to deal with sewage and fuel oil? No, it's not intended. Uh, no, it's not really intended for that. Not for certainly not for sewage. Well, I mean, what comes through with the floodwaters? Oh, well, no. 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 This is just this is like everyday said, storm it's, it's, water. it's okay. improving and enlarging what we currently have. Okay. I didn't know if there was some thought of dealing with flood as part of this. No, this is just ground surface this water. Is, this is yeah, this is collecting stuff off the parking lots and the track and the roofs. Yeah, the, some of the roofs. The flood the river hazard permit comes in not because this is like post flood work so much as because yes. it's work in the river hazard yes. area and they're converting you know, making changes to grade and everything, I had to do a river hazard permit. I didn't know if that was a, a small thought in the process of... This was designed well before the flood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We were fortunate this was... Uh, before the funding was even available, we had money from the Friends of the Winooski helped us design this in anticipation. So we've actually had these designs pretty well done for years, and now that Green Pinch is here and the state has released the funds, we're going to hopefully we're one of the first ones to get it done. Are there other schools in the state doing the same thing? We are, um, over the next three years, addressing up to 64 schools. Um, I guess so. In, in, in these watersheds. We're trying to do between 10 and 30 this year as the kickoff. This is the first year we're undertaking the work. Okay. And, and the funds that, uh, excuse me, the funds that Andrew mentioned are actually um, federal, the America um, Recovery Plan Act funds. 
that are being passed through the state um, down to the schools. Okay. Maybe there isn't anything major that goes on here, but there is a note here about five foot wide permeable concrete walk to outdoor stormwater educational area. See detail. I was unable to find the detail of what that area looks like. It seems like it, I'm all for it being an educational area, and I feel like this whole thing at a school should be a very educational thing. I don't know what sort of infrastructure is being put in place to, or if any, to make that be more of an educational um, spot. Yeah. Well, part of the uh, part of the uh, program is 10% of. I won't bore you with a specific detail, but 10% of the cost of this project needs to go to educational if if we decide to, or we have to pay 10% towards the project. We are choosing to take the full funding and then allocate money towards educational. So yeah, there's there's the, uh, there will be a way for someone who has accessibility challenges to get and be able to go up there and talk about with other classes the what's going on there in that retention pond. So. And we don't have a detailed drawing of that yet. Again, these are probably 90% sets, though. Yep. So. so we're waiting on that. But that. Yeah. Liz, I think there's a detail, the pervious concrete sidewalk at the bottom of DE1. Yeah, they have a detail on the oh. sidewalk. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if there was more sort of architecture associated with it there was a note about railings there was some other things so i didn't know if there was any other no i think it's gonna be pretty minimal it's yeah. gonna be pretty minimal. that's fine get to the edge and be able to look in right how does any of the work being done impact the playing fields should none okay I wasn't sure given some of the diagrams in the back. That was all their disconnect. That's where they calculate uh, permeable and impervial, impervial surfaces mm -hmm. and how much drainage you have off of those surfaces. Yep. So that was part of their calculation. I'm sure any additional drainage off the playing field will be greatly appreciated by the right fielder. <laughs> 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 Fortunately or unfortunately, because uh, because of the flood, FEMA, we are working, we are doing a lot of work on the fields again this summer. Um, so they're actually going to be. What's what's being done? More leveling, and uh, we're going to re-level the practice field, which is the field on the left. And the old mudlot field is actually getting a little more leveling, a little more fertilization, a little more grass seeding. So that's going to work out. And then behind the school, we're going to do some additional leveling. So. Any members have any additional questions, comments? I'm not seeing any hands raised. Seeing some head shaking, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> any well, lack of questions? We'll I think eventually is have some exciting stuff, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, barring any other questions or comments, I can go through the criteria. There's a criteria sheet. <clears throat> and for all projects, exterior design in materials of new construction or alterations of existing buildings shall be consistent and compatible with the characteristics of the existing building or other properties in the district. Then again, this has to do with the accessory landscaping and other uh, parts of the of the premises. <clears throat> so, based on what you've presented so far, that portion is acceptable. In existing buildings should be recognized as a physical record of their time, place, and use, as is the premises acceptable. 
proposed landscaping shall be compatible with the neighborhood and the site on which the prop project is located, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. Mechanical equipment, trash, storage, fencing should be cited to minimize adverse Im visual impact or adequately and appropriately screened from public view. Is there, the fencing is the only thing that's that only it's thing. part of the project. <laughs> so that's acceptable. There's a lot of criteria here that doesn't apply. And lastly, landscaping, screening, and site furnishings. Projects within the design review overlay district and subject to the landscaping requirements in section 3203 shall consider the following. Site furnishings including fencing, seating, other types of site furniture visible from the street or side yards. Does landscaping obscure or undermine key architectural patterns or elements of historic buildings? and mechanical equipment screening, all of those are acceptable. And those are really the only ones that apply to the project. All in favor of the application is presented. Speak your names. Eric. This is Martha, I say yes. William, yes. And Steve, yes. So the vote is five in favor. And do you want to sign representing the projects? And you can sign right below my name in that box. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you all Thank you very much. Yep. I will uh, get my, I've got to do my whole site plan report fun, um, but I'll get that and get the permits out as soon as I can. When they're ready, do you want me to just email you so you can pick them up? Keep going through Howard. Okay. Everything yeah. goes through Howard. The email would be great. Okay, so, um, so Howard, we have to actually mail them out because there's a okay. blue notice card that needs to get posted at the site. So that's why, I mean, I can email copies of them if you want an email, but then somebody needs to be able to pick it up or collect that blue notice card and post it at the high school within the 15 day appeal period. So, so why don't I grab the blue card? Okay. Right so I'll email both of you when they're when okay. they're ready. I'll make sure that scans of them are in the email so that Howard has them. Yeah. Um, and so then, I'll but you can come and pick them up. Very good. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Real, we're getting closer to that fancy restaurant, but not quite. Real <laughs> 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 and I realize the only time we've seen each other in the last three years is Sunday, Saturday mornings at the hardware store. And realize we weren't running into each other in fancy restaurants. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Good luck with your project. Thanks. Great. Nice Thank, project. You. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. And has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from February the 20th? Questions? Yes. And I'll make Question. a motion to accept them the way they are. Okay. Okay. All in favor of the minutes, speak your names. Eric. Martha. William. Steve. Minutes are approved. You were staining because you weren't there. Anyone have any other business at this point? Otherwise, do, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just a little note, the city council still hasn't approved the zoning changes. So hopefully Wednesday, we'll find out. Um, they were supposed to do it before town meeting day, but they haven't, so it's still going on. So feel free to attend on Wednesday if you want, or we'll see, but it's, it shouldn't change design review all that much, um, but it's, it could have some other, other interesting effects. Okay. 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 Then do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. <laughs> a second. Okay, all in favor of adjournment, speak your names. Ben. Yep. Martha. William. Steve, meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>